After watching this video, you should know whether you're going to be getting a multi-split system or a ducted system after the Victorian government rebates. So um, this video will be split up into a couple parts. First, we'll have ducted pros and cons, and we'll have multi-split pros and cons, and then I'll go into a little bit of detail about the rebates. If you're looking for more uh, valuable content, I'll also be making some reviews on some of the systems that are very popular right now. So we're gridless.com.au. I'm the owner. Uh, my name is Jesse. If you want a great quote uh, or multiple quotes for getting your system upgraded, we connect you with the best installers. We get you the best warranties at the best prices. So we provide as much value as possible. All you need to do is visit gridless.com.au and book in a consultation or um, book in a time to speak. So let's start with the my favorite type of system, which is ducted, and we'll talk about the pros and the cons of getting a ducted system. So let's walk into that, shall we? The best thing about ducted systems is how customizable they are. They look a lot nicer than multi-split systems. Multi-split systems, you always have a head on the wall, which doesn't look very nice, whereas with a ducted system, you can have something in the roof or on the floor, which looks really nice. You can also choose between the type of outlet that you want. You can get a square outlet, a round outlet, or my personal favorite, which is a linear grill, which is a very premium looking outlet. And linear grills, um, they basically like aluminum, very long and thin uh, pieces of equipment. And they look very, very nice. Obviously, they cost a little bit more to install, but you've got basically more options. So really, uh, ducted uh, systems are for more premium-minded consumers who are looking to spend a little bit more, but also get more out of it too. You can get more even cooling with a ducted system. So with a split system, even if you have a really big room, you're going to still have an 8 or 9 kilowatt system, which is just coming out of one spot on the wall. Whereas with a ducted system, you can put multiple spots in really big rooms, meaning you get very even cooling. The other thing about ducted is that it will increase the value of your home. So a ducted uh, system is a substantial investment in your home and people really appreciate ducted systems when they're going out and buying them. Uh, the other benefit of having a ducted system is there are many zone options that are available. So whether you're getting a generic zone or you're getting um, an air touch, you can have a lot of options um, such as getting Wi-Fi, uh, such as having temperature sensors with an air touch. Um, you can have as many zones as you want. And there, there are pros and cons to zones and ducteds, and, and we'll get to those soon, but uh, they can be quite expensive. Uh, it's also more practical if you have a small room, such as a bathroom or a small office, which you want to uh, install uh, air conditioning into, but you don't want to install a split system, which could cost as much as two to two and a half thousand dollars to just get done. It's actually cheaper in a lot of cases than doing that separately. And uh, you can also have Wi-Fi control. So if that's something that's important to you, you can you can have nice uh, Wi-Fi control. So those are the pros. Um, and I've tried to be quite quick and quite concise. But ducted systems are a lot nicer to have in the home. They become part of your house. You don't see them everywhere. But they are significantly more expensive. So let's talk about the cons of ducted systems. The major con, the number one con, and it's a big one, is it's more expensive to install, run, and maintain. Ducted systems are expensive. Just the installation process, you have the uh, the system. So if you're getting a Mitsubishi Electric, you have to buy the Mitsubishi Electric indoor unit and outdoor unit. You have to buy all the ducting. If you're getting zones as well, you need to pay for that. You need to pay for the zone motors and uh, for whatever zone system you want. If it's an air touch, it's gonna be extra. Um, if it's uh, even a generic system, it's gonna be extra too. If you want Wi-Fi, it's usually going to be extra too. Um, so it's more expensive to install uh, in terms of the equipment. It's also more uh, expensive to install in terms of labor. So that's actually the, probably the most expensive cost uh, in getting a ducted system in your home. So you need to go uh, uh, into the roof or into the floor cavity, and um, that is very expensive to do. It takes one to two days to do. We have to rip out all of the old dot work and we have to put in new dot work. So we get this question a lot and I'm going to address it now um, and I'll probably have to address it in another video. So listen up. Um, the ducting usually needs to be replaced and the reason why is um, most ducted gas systems. Uh, so we usually upgrade ducted gas systems. There are a couple of rebates are available but the most common one uh, is ducted gas. And so we upgrade ducted gas with ducted air conditioning systems. 
Dr. Gas has uh, a size of R0.8 um, and all you need to know is that the new regulation requires that you have R1.5 and the reason is it's significantly more energy efficient to have larger ducts. So old ducts won't cut it, they're usually pretty old anyway for replacing ducted gas, usually it's 15 to 20 years old, uh, so it's nice to replace those uh, systems anyway. Um, so uh, flexi duct, which is uh, aluminium ducting, which is the most common type in Australia, is uh, the most expensive duct work to um, uh, sort of maintain because you have to replace it every uh, 15 to 20 years. Um, so it's more expensive to install. It's also more expensive to run uh, the system, so it's less energy efficient than splits. And the reason why as a split, you just have, uh, it's a very airtight um, system. So you have refrigerant running all the way to the split system, and then you have the indoor unit um, and it's blowing hot, uh, cold air. There's less uh, heat loss or cold loss uh, versus uh, having ducts in the ceiling and, and going into different rooms and your house isn't thermo, uh, like therm usually Australian houses are not very thermodynamically uh, secure. But uh, the main reason is because splits, everything's running through a refrigerant, whereas with duct to gas, you have all the ducts and uh, that is causing a lot of heat loss. So it's more expensive to run. Uh, it's still a lot cheaper than ducted gas, and it's all based on electricity, so if you have solar, it could be very good um, to run an AC versus uh, having ducted gas. And the last point is that it's also more expensive to maintain. You should get this system maintained every uh, every year, and it is more expensive to maintain a ducted system versus uh, split systems. But if you're having multiple split systems anyway, it's going to be pretty expensive to do as well. So it might be even comparable in that case. So the second con that we have, aside from being more expensive in uh, pretty much every way, is that there are fewer rebates available. There are fewer rebates available uh, for ducted systems and they're more expensive to start off with. So the fact that they uh, have fewer rebates means they're gonna be more expensive than ducted versus multi-split. So they really are the premium option. They always have been, they always will be uh, versus multi-split systems. And that's pretty much it. Uh, the last con I sort of mentioned as well is that new ductwork needs to be installed, um, but you should definitely have a look at getting that done. Um, I'd be very cautious, so if you've gotten a quote already, I'd be very cautious of any company which is not saying they're going to replace your ductwork. And I would definitely have a look at uh, the ductwork when they do come and install uh, your system to make sure you're actually getting R1.5. I've heard many horror stories of people um, having R1 uh, sized ducts in their ceiling, and then the installers come and they just install R1 ducts on a three-year-old system, which doesn't make any sense. Uh, so make sure you're sort of across that and that you're getting R1.5. I'll talk a little bit about the costs as well of ducted systems. So it really wildly depends. Um, it depends on a couple of things, but the main things it will depend on will be the system that you're getting. So whether it's Mitsubishi Electric, a Daikin, a Medea, um, a Panasonic, all these systems have different prices, vastly different prices, and also different rebate amounts. Um, the systems are all read very differently, so they all have different rebates. So depending on the system that you want, you're going to be paying a lot extra. So I recommend if you're talking to us and we're, we're providing you with quotes and connecting you with, with installers, you ask us what you're looking for. Are you looking for a specific system, a specific brand? Are you looking for the best quality? Are you looking for the best price? All of those are different. So let us know what you're looking for. We'll help connect you with what the best solution is for you. The second thing that it really depends on is the rebates. So the, the system uh, and the rebates are available and they're, they're obviously very connected. Ducted systems are way more uh, complicated to install. So the installation difficulty definitely plays a part in that as well. Uh, single story versus double story is um, is quite a uh, challenge. So single story is usually very easy. You either go into the roof or the um, the basement and you put in the new ductwork. But with a double story, uh, you can't really do that with the floor between the first and the second floor, uh, with the space between the first and the second floor. It's very hard to go in. So usually we leave those ducts uh, alone. And it will depend on the number of zones, the controllers, new ducting, double story versus single story, uh, tin versus tile roof. There are lots of different factors to consider, so it's very hard to give you an accurate range. So now let's talk about the multi-split pros and cons. Okay, so multi-split pros, they're usually way cheaper to install and they're way easier to install as well. So multi-splits, the setup of a multi-split is you have multiple splits around your home and you have one or more compressors that are powering those split systems. Uh, using refrigerant 
uh, you can have um, uh, a multi-split system or a VRF and they work very similarly. Um, so you, you don't actually really need to understand the difference between the two. So there's no ductwork re required and it's much quicker to install the pipe. So instead of being a one to, uh, like two day job, it can usually be done in a couple of hours, significantly less time than a ducted system takes. It's also less risky than a ducted system. No one's going into your roof. There's less risk of anything going wrong. Uh, it's easy to expand a multi-split system. So if you had four systems for your multi-split and you want to add another head, it's usually easier to do that uh, than it would be for uh, adding another vent in a ducted system. Um, they're cheaper systems, generally speaking. Uh, now, once you start getting into five, uh, four or five, six different uh, split systems, it starts to sort of even out a little bit. Um, but certainly if you're just getting two or three uh, or maybe even four multi-split systems, definitely getting multi-split uh, would probably be worth, uh, uh, will probably be a lot cheaper than getting a ducted system. Uh, more, rebates, more rebates are available for the multi-splits. You can get about eight to $9,000, depending on the systems that you're getting, uh, the brand that you're getting, the number of heads that you're getting, the size of the kilowatts of those heads, uh, you get different rebates. But typically, it's a lot larger than what you get with a ducted system. It's also a lot more energy efficient. So that will uh, appeal to a lot of people who are looking to save money by installing a system. Split systems are way more energy efficient and it comes back to the same reason that I explained before. You're not getting all this heat loss due to the duct work. So it is much, much, much cheaper to run. Um, usually about half uh, the price versus a ducted system. Half to like three quarters. Um, it's more energy efficient. Uh, you can also have custom controllers customized temperatures so if you want that for a ducted system that's actually going to cost you more money but for a multi-split it's just part of the deal you have a controller in each room for each system so the cons of getting a multi-split system is that they're less aesthetically please, uh, pleasing you have to have a split system on the wall so if that's something you care about you really care about the architecture of your home it might not be the best fit for you it's also more expensive as you choose to get more rooms and it is much noisier than getting a ducted system because you have the head in the room. So those are all the pros and cons of getting a multi-split system.